Oh, I really like this story. Sue, it's so cold! I'm freezing! Put a blanket on me! Sure, Sammy. Here you go. Better? Sue, now it's too hot and I want some Nutella. Okay, okay, Sammy. There you go, Mr. Slime. Wait, Sue! I want some chips and crackers, too! Ugh. Here, you're like Rose today. Uh, Rose? Who's Rose? She's from the story about the little prince. Sue, I didn't read that book. Can you tell me more? Let's go to a craft table and I'll tell you everything. Hi, guys. Today we'll make a lamp inspired by the little prince. Here we have the fox, the rose, and of course the prince himself. And we'll start with the main parts of the body. Our first step will be applying a primer. Guys, primer is a must if you want the paint to spread out nicely on the surface. <laughs> right, Sammy. You're a real expert. Now we'll start working with the paint. We'll use a few colors for that. We choose green, blue, and black. Sue, so, why exactly did we choose these colors? Wait a bit, Sammy. I'm just about to explain everything. The little prince lived in space in his own little planet. And this frame's color will remind us about that. Sue, so, did the little prince live all alone? Not really. There were baobabs growing all around. But he had to dig them out all the time so that the trees wouldn't destroy his planet. Sue, so, what about friends? Did he have any? Sammy, be patient, please. Okay, okay, I'm listening. Once, on the little prince's planet, something strange grew that didn't exactly look like a baobab. That's right. Good guess, Sammy. It was her. Sue, so, but why did you say that I was like Rose today? The little prince really liked his Rose, but she was very whimsical. Now I get it. I'm sorry for being so moody sometimes. That's okay, Sammy. It's not your fault. We're all different, with different wants and needs. The main thing is to remain kind to the people around you. Another favor to ask you for. I want you to color this rose so I can put it in the vase later. And while you're doing this, I'll help you paint the inner part of the tablet. No one can color the rose better than you. Guys, Sammy is so helpful. Give him a thumbs up for his good job. And we'll deal with the rose. First, we'll cover our flower with primer. By the way, Sammy, how is it going with the painting? All good! I also started to work with the primer! Be careful with that part! Don't rush! Now we'll color the leaves and the place where the rosebud is attached. And finally, we'll add some bright red color. Whoa! Our colors match pretty well! We have only one last part of the body left. Here we'll only use our primer on the frame. Let's use some magic. Done! Now we'll add some color. Sue! Check out the vase I made for our rose! We're done with the painting. Sammy, I need those pieces! Uh, I'm already here, Sue! Take them! Thanks! Now we'll need to connect these two parts. So you can leave it to me! Now we'll work on these layers. But first, we need to cover them with primer. Sammy, are you willing to help? Sure, Susie! Leave these to me! In the meantime, let's color the bushes that I already prepared. And of course, they will be green. Way. What is this fox doing here? You have a sharp eye, Sammy. The fox didn't appear here for no reason. The little prince traveled to different planets. And when he landed on Earth, he met the fox. Sue, so, does this mean that 
but you also tamed me? <laughs> no, Sammy. When we met each other, we became best friends. By the way, bring me those pieces, please. Here. All done soon. Thanks. And did the little prince and the fox become friends too? The little prince tamed the fox, but then he flew away up to the stars. Speaking about stars, that's what we'll do right now. We'll make them using a rough brush and a wooden stick. That's so cool! Feel that we're friends! That's why I'll keep helping you! The little prince visited eight planets in total. On each of them, he learned something new. And we're dealing with the greenery again. <laughs> This time we'll start with the planet. Sammy, do you know the phrase, the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or touched? They're felt with the heart. Sure! Um, is it a quote from the little prince? Yes, Sammy, you got that right. It's from this book. Okay, let's set our stars alight right now. Huh? Done! <laughs> Great job, Sue! And I'll paint this part myself. You can manage with the details. We'll start with the little prince, of course. And his bright yellow scarf. The little prince will be the brightest element on our lamp. Because he shines with kindness. Shine with kindness? Of course, Sammy. You always help me and do lots of nice things for others. Guys, give a thumbs up if you also like to do good things. To paint the princess skin, we'll mix white and brown colors. And there's only one figure left. It's the fox. Right, Sam. Our fox will surely be bright orange. Sammy, did you know that besides the fox, the little prince met someone else on the earth? So, I think I know who it was. It was a snake! Yes, Sammy. But it wasn't as friendly as the fox. Actually, the snake was the very first creature he encountered on earth. The little prince was very brave since he wasn't afraid to travel all along to all these planets. That's true, Sammy. And we're done here. Let's start assembling. Guys, I already prepared the electric circuit for our lamp. We just need to put all the layers together. Here's the first one. Now comes the second layer. The third one. And finally, the fourth layer. Take this part. Oh, I can't wait until we attach our little rose. Sammy, you can already bring her here. I just finished the assembling. Hooray, Sue! Here's the rose. Our rose will be here on the little princess planet. And here we'll have a star. Even more stars. <laughs> Guys, meet our main characters. We just need to cover our lamp with a frame. Sue, I can't wait to see our lamp in action! Let's turn it on right now! Okay, Sammy, let me just put the very last piece here. Woohoo! <laughs> our lamp is finished!
This lamp came out really magical. Our room immediately got filled with kindness and light. Guys, if you like our craft, then give us a thumbs up! And subscribe to our channel to not miss new magical crafts. And don't forget to do good things, guys! Bye-bye!